day sports fans and college fanatics have been waiting for Selection Sunday has come at last. Here in Nashville, there are two men's teams hoping for an invitation to the big dance. Steve Wrigley is live at Belmont University where everyone is eagerly awaiting the announcement. Hi, Steve. How are you doing, Tom? Yeah, they're having a real problem curbing their enthusiasm here at the Curb Event Center. Belmont waiting for a second straight NCAA bid. They know they're in because they won the conference tournament. Rick Bird, this is a pretty exciting time for you and your school. Yeah, if it's not, you need to get out of this business for sure. What are, what are your thoughts? Where do you think you guys might end up going? I don't know where. I, I think we'll be a 15 seed. So we'll play somebody really good and we'll show up. So you have to really keep your travel plans open. Absolutely. Well, people will start going crazy here the next time we, when they announce about how they're going to get there. And it's a nice situation because the girls also made the tournament. So this is great exposure nationwide for Belmont. I don't know how many schools will have both teams in the tournament, but there won't be a lot. So it's a big, big couple of days for Belmont. Rick Bird, thank you very much for your time. An exciting time here at the Curb Event Center. If you can take a look up there, they've got a big crowd waiting to find out where the Belmont Bruins will be playing in the NCAA tournament time. We'll be back later inside sports. Hopefully we'll know by then where Vanderbilt's going to play. The Tennessee Balls should be in, and we'll have uh, the lowdown on the Belmont Bruins. Reporting live from the Curb Event Center, Steve Wrigley, Channel 4 News. A lot of excitement, Steve. Thank you, and we'll be back with more exciting things right after this. Big doings at Belmont University. Steve Wrigley is right in the middle of all that excitement. Steve? Tom, the anticipation is just eating everybody up. We've been about 30 minutes into the selection show, about 25, and yet we don't know where Belmont's going. We don't know if Vanderbilt's in. We don't know if Tennessee's in. Big crowd here at the Curb Center anticipating the announcement to find out where the Belmont Bruins are going to play in this NCAA tournament. Now, we've got big man here, Boomer Herndon. Boomer, this is just like last year. The anticipation's got to be killing you. Yeah, we're definitely excited, and we're anticipating a, a good seed, so... Who knows what's going to happen? How much does last year's experience help you guys? You went out and played UCLA the first ever bid. This year you wrapped it up again with the conference tournament. How much did last year help this year? It helped us a lot. I mean, our mindset is a lot different than it was last year. Uh, we are kind of wide-eyed and, and just happy to be there last year, but our mindset is a lot different this year, and we want to go and, and give it a really good effort. Now, I know you're a Nashville guy, grew up here. How excited are you to be part of the first two teams that took Belmont to the tournament? I'm very excited. Uh, I think it puts uh, Belmont on the map and, and uh, gives Nashville a better name as a basketball place. So I'm excited to have done that. And last question, any idea where you think you might be going? I have no idea right now. I'm excited to find out, though. All right, thank you, Boomer Herner, for your time. So the anticipation's just eating them up here at the Curb Center. The Belmont Bruins, the Vanderbilt Commodores, the Tennessee Balls, all curious about where they could be going for the NCAA tournament. We know Belmont's in. We'll wrap it all up inside sports Sunday night. Reporting live from the Curb Center, Steve Wrigley, Channel 4 News. See ya. All right, Steve. That's the thing I hate about him. He's never excited about his job. <laughs> <laughs> he is one of the most excited employees we oh, have. He is. That's it for us. And we just found out Belmont's going to be playing Georgetown. We'll see you tonight at 10 NBC's next.